okay so we are here so let's take a look at running busco so let's click this one running busco and this will send us to a section which will show us how to run busco so with busco we have mandatory arguments and we have other options so mandatory arguments you have to specify them otherwise busco will not work so with the mandatory arguments you have to specify sequence file so we use dash i you have to specify lineage you use dash l you have to specify output name so this is the name of the directory that will be created and then used to store the output files. that's dash o and then dash m is the mode and we have other options so other options that one it depends on you and then what you want to achieve so with the sequence file in this tutorial we are going to use a genome assembly data so we will specify that i will show you where to download it and then with the lineage we will specify one so with the lineage there are possible ones you can specify so they are referred to as lineage data sets and so you can list them and then look at the one which is appropriate for you an example is this one this is a linear data set bacteria and you can also specify where it is if you have downloaded and stored them on your pc you can specify using this approach but for this tutorial, we are going to download everything and then use the linear straight away without having to download and specify anyway i'll show you how to do that later on also with the lineage if you are not sure then you can use the auto lineage so that one is here let me just show you before we proceed so let's check lineage data sets this one so click it it will send you to that section then let's scroll down a bit we will find that here let's check i think i can also shift i can also search here i'll say auto let me use this one yeah automated linear automated lineage selection so i can click it and this will send me to this section so if you are not sure of the lineage then you can use the auto lineage so if you specify auto lineage then you don't need a dash l flag to specify your lineage so take note of that for this tutorial you will use a specific lineage so take note of that i will make tutorials which show how to use the auto lineage as well so that will be another time now let's get back to the usage again i just want to give an overview of the usage before we use an example data and then the output name that is the name of the directory that will be created and then used to store the outputs and then we have dash m to specify the mode so with the mode let's just check again let's go to this section we have genome mode we have protein mode we have transcriptome mode let's just click genome mode for example it will show us how to do it so the genome mode you have to use genome so this is used um, in situations for example where you have genome assemblies you can use genome mode and we also have protein mode and we also have transcriptome mode for this tutorial we are going to run busco on a genome assembly so we will use the genome mode our made tutorials that show how to use these other modes so that will be for another time so take notes of that yeah and it has even been stated here so genome mode assessing the genome assembly that has been stated here so that's that's fine okay great so that is the general overview of the busco usage let's go back yeah so in this tutorial we are going to use the mandatory arguments we will leave the other options that will be another time so that's it